This is a quick revisit of the Lapsun 4K microscope to review the 0.75 Paolo lens I've just received. Hello, the internet, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is just a very quick follow up from my previous video. I have just received a 0.75 Barlow lens, and I'd like to quickly show you what the Barlow, the 0.75 Barlow lens can do with this microscope. Now, if you remember when I ordered the microscope, I also placed an order for a 0.3 Barlow lens, which uh, ended up, uh, well, I couldn't use it with this micro microscope because the, the, the height that this Barlow lens demands is just way too high, and to be honest, I, I feel it becomes more or less useless. I ordered this one instead, and my hope is that this lens is giving me a little larger working area, area so the microscope is gonna be a bit further away from the working piece, and also increase the, let's call it the field of view, so the amount of area that the microscope can see at minimum and maximum magnification. So as a quick remind, this is with the microscope set at minimum magnification, and as you can see, I can more or less see uh, 35 millimeter, and uh, this is with the light ring is about 95 millimeter. The lens is probably, I think is more or less a centimeter higher. So let's say 10, 10.5 centimeters from the working piece. And when I'm zooming at maximum magnification, I can see more or less five millimeters. And uh, the lens, the lens ring is now, it's more or less the same, it's 95 millimeters. So yeah, the, the microscope is again, 10, 10.5 centimeters. So this is without the Barlow lens. Now let's fit this 0.75 Barlow lens and see what we get instead. Okay, so let's set the microscope to minimum magnification. The working height is definitely uh, increased, so it's higher. And I can now see uh, 4.7 uh, millim uh, centimeters, which is pretty good. It's more or less one, it's 1 1.2 centimeters more, which is, it's just great. And the working height is now 13 centimeters. So the lens is around 14 centimeters, which is great. It's just a little extra bit that you need when you do need to do some soldering or use your hot air station. Um, it is, it's, uh, it's totally, it's totally worth, but obviously if I need to inspect something, I can still zoom in. And here we're talking about seven millimeters, more or less. So going from five to seven, which is still very good for inspecting. But again, we are, again, 13, 14 centimeters from the working piece. So to me, this is a win. It's amazing. I have the extra working distance that I was looking for. I have the extra field of view, let's call it that way, that I was looking for, but I can still inspect and again, honestly, it takes a second to remove this lens if I wanted that, those two extra millimeters. I don't think so, to be honest. I think I will keep this 0.75 on this lens all the time. I don't see the reason to remove it, to be honest. I can't say, but I have a feeling that uh, this is a 120x magnification lens. I have a feeling that the 180 with the 0.5 Barlow lens is maybe the best of both worlds. I have a feeling that would give probably the same field of view, but a little higher height. The point is, I have no idea. Again, after, after the, the failure with the 0.3 Barlo lens, where you know, the, the microscope ended up being 52 centimeters from the working piece, um, I can't say, to be honest, but I have a feeling that the 180 with a, with a 0.5 Barlo lens is probably the best. Surely, I have to say, I mean, these microscopes, for soldering purposes, they should really be sold with the 0.75 Barlow lens in this case, or the 0.5 with a Barlow lens, uh, because it makes things so much easier. Um, Lapsun service was pretty good. There was a delay in shipping, uh, not much communication, unfortunately, about that, but uh, I think it took about a couple of weeks to get the Barlow lens here, and uh, the, the quality feels, feels pretty good, to be honest. Let me show you. So here is the lens, uh, not sure 
how much you can see, but uh, it feels well made. It's, I would say it's pretty heavy. And I've also purchased, uh, well, we, I, I called it a 1.0 Barlow lens. It's just a little protection. Um, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to use it because if I'm keeping the Barlow lens on it, I mean, unless, uh, unfortunately, the Barlow lens doesn't have the thread underneath, so I can't protect the Barlow lens, but I'm happy to, uh, how can I say, use the, uh, the Barlow lens as a sacrificial, sacrificial lens. Uh, it's not very expensive and I can replace it uh, rather than replace the whole main lens, which is still not expensive anyways. Well, since I'm here and the video is basically already finished, just to give you a feedback on the microscope, which I have been using for a few weeks, I feel it's amazing. I feel it's a tool that if you're a bit serious in soldering and tinkering with, with electronics, I've been using it all the time. Every time I'm looking at something smallish, the microscope is here, it's on the bench, it's always here. I love this stand, uh, this temporary stand that I made, it is still here and I don't think I'm gonna change it. It's amazing, it's always here, it's always connected and allows me to double, triple check things in a moment. It's an absolutely amazing. Um, the only, let's call it issue, I found with this microscope is when I'm connected via USB, which is basically all the time I'm powering this via my laptop, the menu for the microscope itself, so say I want to change the white balance or, uh, or take a video or take a picture or anyway, access the menu, the menu is not available. It has to be powered by an external power supply for the menu to be visible. I'm not sure why, maybe it's something they can fix with, with a firmware update. I will contact Lapsun at some point in, I don't know, in six months time and ask them if they happen to have a firmware upgrade for this um, microscope. And one little upgrade I did, I reduced the footprint of my <laughs> temporary uh, stand here. I just cut uh, the pieces of wood a little bit more. Uh, again, this is very sturdy. Uh, I still haven't replaced the clamps with something a bit more small, a bit smaller. But yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Again, the it is incredibly functional for me when I'm done with the microscope. I just push it away like this and I have all the space here on the desk. And if I need a microscope, microscope back, it's ready. It's absolutely amazing. Another minor issue I found with this microscope is um, the way this ring is holding, basically holding the position for the main arm so that you can swing it around, you can turn it around without having to reposition it every time. So the problem is these two knobs, when you turn in the arm, these two knobs clash together, as you can see, and also the main pole clashes to the, uh, to the, to the knob here. So that was a bit of annoyance. And um, I found a quick solution. I basically needed some washers. I made my own with whatever I had at the time in the lab here. I, I don't know how I managed to make a wooden washer. And then I had some rubber here. And let me show you how this works. And there you go. The, the washers are acting as, um, as a spacer in between the two parts. So now I can turn the micro microscope freely. without having to worry about anything. So this is it. It was just a quick follow up. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions. And um, thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you.